This short film, produced using a combination of infrared cameras and camera traps, is about the European badger. But first, let us put the species into its world context. There are nine species of badger in seven genera within the weasel family, which are known as the mustelids. Badgers are native to all the continents except Antarctica and Australasia, and their closest living relatives are the weasels, polecats, mink, martins, sables, fishers, grisons, wolverines, skunks and otters, an ancient line which exploits trees, land and water. The European badger found in the UK has a black and white striped face, which make the animal familiar to many, although they may never have actually seen one. Relatively small ears and eyes keep the outline of the body a simple tube shape with short, tough legs. The long front claws are used for digging and may also be used for defending the animal, while the claws on the hind legs are relatively short. The five toes, set in front of a wide pad, appear as separate marks when left in mud, sand or snow, and the pads leave unique prints, which cannot be confused with any other animal. Badgers can run very quickly in short bursts and can also swim well. They tunnel powerfully back and forth and regularly shuffle backwards when dragging bedding into their set. The badger's staple diet is earthworms, making up over 50% of its diet. And as earthworms have segments in their bodies and each of these are filled with water, there is little need for the badger to drink, provided they have enough of the worms. This, however, in dry spring weather, when the ground hardens to the point they can't get at the worms, can present problems. Even when earthworms are available, the badger is an opportunistic omnivore and will take as many other foods as it can. They don't actually hunt down, but if they stumble across them, the badger will also eat field voles, especially those caught at nests. Mice, rats, moles, shrews, hedgehogs and rabbits, particularly the young rabbits in stock. Insects are caught all through the year and holes are often seen in pasture where the cockchafer beetle larvae have been dug out. They will take the eggs of ground nesting birds, fruits and cereals and will also dig out wasps and bee nests, apparently oblivious to their stings. Badgers can mate in every month of the year, but particularly from February onwards, as soon as the litter are born in the social group. If food conditions over the whole period of growth are favourable, a female cub can be fertilised in her first autumn and have cubs around her first birthday. Badgers possess the reproductive technique of delayed implantation, whereby the cell badger can mate any time after the birth of her cubs, but still keep her birth time to the spring. Both cells and cubs, having their first oestrus, will be able to mate and keep fertilised eggs unattached in the uterus in a state of suspended development. They live off minimum food from the uterus wall until they implant in the actual tissue and begin development as foetuses around the end of December. Underground, the cubs are protected, fed and nursed by the cell, and it is at this time she will defend her chamber and cubs to the death. Tragically, people still send terriers into sets, often choosing the very time when cubs will be with the sow to ensure she will defend them and put up a good fight. By April, spring is in full swing and food supplies are plentiful again. Badger cubs are now exploring the set entrance and may emerge, tempted by the multitude of new scents and sounds outside. The sow is protective over her cubs and makes sure they stay close to the set. By the end of June, many cubs are weaned and should know their way around the set. They are now confident enough to forage with other cubs, other members of the group, or by themselves. From November, the times when they emerge from their sets becomes more erratic, and although badgers do not hibernate, their activity is reduced as food becomes harder to find at this time of year. In December, badgers sleep longer and deeper, and this lull in activity coincides with the delayed implantation in the badger's reproductive cycle.